course, since I bought this from China, there's no data sheets or anything. I tried to Google the uh, part number. Yeah, I found some. Apparently, there are similar ones in which they only have one digit, but I have three digits. And so I'm just going to wing it using an Arduino as my power supply and a 1K resistor as my current limiting resistor. Let's get some ground. And let's get some 5 volts. Run that through a current limiting resistor, our negative. Here's our positive. Let's just get some power. You know, intuitively, it'd probably be somewhere in the middle that will be the common because then it will like, spread out for the other ones. But I may not know what I'm talking about. This is not encouraging. I figure we would get something by now. Hey, we got something. We got something to write on. I'm gonna call this ABC. I'm gonna call it zero, one, and two. And we got a dot. G H, I guess. Okay, we need to draw the pins now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we got this one, which is a third pin. And if I pick another one, it should light up a different one. Okay, let's try this one. So that is the one, two, three, four, five. That's the fifth one. One, two, three, four, five. So this controls this digit. So I'm gonna say two. And that this one, third one should control the small point which I call H. So if I move this, the next one, which is the fourth one, is going to be a C. Yes, we should start from the from the edge. Okay, the edge is an E. The bottom one is a D. So C is the right one, and after that is the middle one, which is a G. That is nothing. Okay, so this is nothing. So the other segment must be on the other side. Okay, so that is an A. It's a B. Nothing. Oh, I screwed it up there. Because that is some nothing, okay. That's an A. That's a B. And I got one more left. So this is two is over here. And that one is nothing again, so I don't know what that is. And this is a B. What? Do I have those two Bs? That's an F. A third one is an F. How come you guys didn't tell me? <laughs> okay, so A, B, C, D, E, F. G H, so that leaves this one that I screw up on, so that must be another anode, right? So because this is a plus, two is a plus, so this must be another common anode. So I'm gonna move that over here, and see how that moves. So this one is segment F, and I did move the negative side, and my if I just move the positive side, we go to digit one so this is a one this is another plus and it's a one so that leaves these two so that must be some more pluses that's interesting i got two more pins left and i only I only have the zero is the only one missing so let's see if it goes this way it is so this is a zero another plus and i don't know what this last button is i need to go six one two three four five six okay that one must not do anything so what if we put one in here which does something and we put negative on this one one two three four five six okay this one doesn't do anything 
So that's it. So now basically if we want to light up the middle one, which is G, I need a negative on G, which is the next one after that. And that's currently on this one, which is a digit zero. If I want digit one, I need to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's another F. And then next one after that is the other F. So now all we need to do is make the Arduino do this. <laughs>